Let's look at how to determine the Indian out recovery altitudes for the different strategies, starting with the standard strategy. We are cruising along right here in a, let's call it a high cruise scenario, and we have an engine failure. This is the preferred strategy and the go-to strategy that crews should adopt at any time if there are no obstacles below on our flight plan ahead. The speed target for this descent is Mach 0.78, 300 knots. This strategy ensures we meet the long range requirements at the expense of altitude. So we will be descending slightly faster, but we will be able to overall maintain or obtain the longest range possible. And that is our goal here, to get the greatest range to allow us to go to our destination or to divert to an alternate. What is this recovery altitude if we do in a standard strategy? Well, it's called recommended max engine out altitude, and it can be found on the MCDU progress page. It's also known as the long range ceiling for engine out, and it assumes engine out with no anti-icing on. So when the failure happens, the pilot flying will initially, without any delay, say MCT, auto thrust off, and then set the heading away from the airway and pull, and then determine the long range ceiling before notifying the ATC. Do not delay this, the aircraft will not maintain this altitude for long, and the last thing you want to do is start descending because you're losing performance while not having these things sorted out and ATC not notified. To determine the long range ceiling, we can, as I mentioned, go to the MCDU progress page and you'll find up there that the recommended max changed. We looked at that in the performance day yesterday. To the engine out recommended max. You can simply read it off right there while making the call to ATC. No delay. We have established the performance level we can descend down to. Another way of determining that without the use of the MCDU is to use the ceilings chart in the QRH. In the performance Lima chapter here on ceilings, you're able to find this table where it says one engine out for long range and green dot ceilings, there are solid lines and dotted lines. I'll be looking for the long range ceiling here, so I'll be looking at the dotted lines and I'll find the dotted line for the ISA conditions. Let's say today we're at 62 tons and we want to find for ISA conditions. 62 tons, ISA conditions, and we go across and it's just over flight level 250. Now that I know the long range ceiling for engine out, I can continue with the actual procedure. Once the aircraft is ready to descend, it means as soon as we have informed ATC, and before reaching green dot speed, we will set the appropriate speed, Mach 300, depending on the altitude we're at, and pull. Then we will set the altitude, flight level 250 in this case, and pull. The aircraft will start its descent and we will reach the long range ceiling. When we're close to reaching the long range ceiling, the aircraft is going to start slowing down its vertical speed. To not delay this, we will then override that and put minimum 500 feet vertical speed when the aircraft goes below that vertical speed. We will pull for vertical speed 500 feet and we will then put the auto thrust back on. When the aircraft levels off at the long range ceiling, we can look to the performance of the aircraft at this level. And looking to the performance at this level means what is my fuel burn off going to be per hour here? What is my speed going to be? And how long can I actually cruise for? How far can I go? What is the range under these conditions? For that, we will refer to the QRH and or the FCOM for the appropriate tables. I'm using the QRH in this example for the standard strategy. Go to your QRH and in the same performance Lima chapter, you'll find this in cruise quick check long range. It again assumes engine out, one engine out, 
And since my long range ceiling here was applied number 250, I'll go over here, 250, 62 ton aircraft, and I'll find that I will be burning 2,302 kilograms of fuel per hour. This is deciphered from the box up here in the header. And this is for the remaining engine. Once I know what the fuel burn-off is going to be per hour, I can jump to the next table. In cruise, quick check long range. One engine out tells me how long I can go for with the fuel I have. So take the fuel on board you have, take the fuel you have on board, flight level 250, and go down until you find how much fuel you have remaining for the trip. And you can go across to the left portion there to find out what is your air distance. This was a short video on a specific topic. If you want to see the full video or see the hundreds of videos we made available for professional content on aviation theory, head on to our e-learning academy at academy.mindspacex.com. And don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button to follow us. We're going to be putting out these videos regularly.